today's talk will focus on exercise and the heart, with a focus on why we need to stay active and how to do so in a safe and measured manner. Now, my name is Dr. Ko Chun Hao, and I'm a cardiologist from National Heart Centre. It is my pleasure today to share with you my thoughts and experience related to this topic. Now, should I exercise? This is certainly quite a no-brainer for most of us. Short of exceptional circumstances, the answer should be a resounding yes. I certainly have not heard of parents telling their children, no, stay home and play with the computer games, or children telling their retired parents, don't go out and stay fit. The COVID situation notwithstanding, and medical fitness with permitting, all of us should maintain some degree of physical activities in order to stay fit. The Singh Health Health Exchange website had published some articles uh, provided by Heart Centre to share possible underlying causes of sudden cardiac death in otherwise apparently healthy athletes. Let's go through some of these conditions. Basically, certain cardiac conditions, when present, may be apparently benign when at rest or performing non-strenuous activities. Intense exercise then functions as a trigger to spiral these conditions to cause the heart to run into problems. Such underlying conditions can include heart muscle disease, certain abnormal heart rhythms, weakened heart functions, or congenital abnormalities, but particularly those involving the coronary arteries supplying blood to the heart muscles. In general, these conditions are rare and often not easy to pick up, and a strong clinical suspicion is usually necessary, such as when there is a family history of sudden death at a young age, or when the patient has significant symptoms in order for us to arrange advanced cardiac investigations to confirm the diagnosis. So, since these conditions are in general rare and oftentimes difficult to pick up in an otherwise asymptomatic individual, how then can we exercise safely and effectively as a population? Certainly, it would make sense for everyone to undergo advanced cardiac investigations just for the sake of exercise participation. Elite athletes taking part in high endurance and world-class level sports do undergo screening, but they do perform at a very high level, which is certainly much higher than the average individual. So what applies to them may not apply to us. First, let's talk about exercising safely. Safety in sports is one big topic in and of itself, and I would not venture to explore all the safety aspects of sports. There are many high quality resources out there that go in depth into these areas. Sports SG website being one of them, you may find the links useful. These resources can also be Googled easily, but do be mindful of less reputable websites, not backed by professional bodies or healthcare regulators. HPB also has useful advice on weight loss targeted exercise, with an aim to reduce half to one kilograms per week to achieve an initial weight loss of 10% from baseline for people who are overweight. They advocate 150 to 250 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise weekly to achieve this target. Well, this sums up my talk. In summary, exercise is good for your heart and mind, and safe and effective exercise is possible. It is important to know your limits, clarify doubts, and go slow and steady when you start any exercise program. 